Hi and welcome to Travis Lau's weather briefing number one. Today is Sunday, July 2nd. We're looking at the surface analysis chart first. As you can see, there are a number of high pressure and low pressure systems across the U.S. As also a number of ridge, or sorry, troughs and cold fronts, warm fronts, and stationary fronts. Looks like the warm front is about north of Texas that leads to stationary front and also is associated with the cold front on the east coast. Um, also the weather in the Montana Midwestern area near Minnesota there's also cold fronts so we might be seeing a little bit of some convective activity like thunderstorms in that area so that's it for the surface analysis chart oh and there's also some what looks like an occluded front to the top left of this chart near Canada that may or may not be coming into the US later we're looking at the low level <coughs> surface chart and as you can see on July 2nd a lot of the southern part of the US is going to be marginal VFR or IFR conditions as you can see about half of Texas is covered in marginal VFR or IFR and a lot of those east coast looks like a lot of the east coast states are going to get some a lot of bad weather as for the freezing level as you can see around Minnesota is about 12,000 feet above sea level and around Nevada all the way down to Texas is about 16,000 feet MSL and then on June 3rd or sorry July 3rd it seems that a lot of the weather has cleared out of the area and a, a lot better weather for flying. Now we're going to the high level chart and basically around the world is just all of these jet streams going from west to east and there's a number of convective activity also in the US there's convective activity and jet streams going from west to east as well I'll be looking at the satellite chart and we can see that there is a lot of some bad weather accumulating in the northern part of Texas but overall the skies look pretty clear in the US in the 48 contiguous states now I live in Honolulu, Hawaii so I picked a METAR from Hawaii and PHNL which is Honolulu International Airport on the 2nd at 0653 Zulu. Winds are from 040 at 6 knots, 10 statue miles, few clouds at 2500, scattered clouds at 3400, scattered clouds at 4600, temperature 24 degrees Celsius, dew point is 21 degrees Celsius, altimeter is 3006. And then we also have a precipitation monitor. Um, it also shows a little bit of the TAF, but we'll get to that later. Here is the graphical depiction of the, some of the METARs. At, there's not many in Honolulu. There's PHNL, which is the bottom right one, and the winds are very light, it's pretty clear skies. There's PHJR, which is another airport that I actually used to train at, which I believe I forgot what it's called, 
but it looks like they're having kind of scattered and more broken skies. And in the middle is near a military base, the middle of the island, which I think is, I believe it says PHHI. And that looks like there's only a few clouds around that area. Freezing level chart for the 48 contiguous states. It looks like as you go, basically as you go north, the freezing level continues to drop thousands of feet, which is very normal considering that the closer you get to the equator, the warmer it usually is. Now we'll be looking at the categorical outlook chart. And as you can see, there is, as you can see, there is a lot of expected thunderstorms or warnings, especially in the middle near Nebraska and Kansas, which says SLGT, which basically means there's a chance of thunderstorms happening in that area, so watch out. These are convective segments, which previously we saw that it was around one was around Texas, and that's the bottom left one. KKCI actually the well the center is also all KKCI, but convective segments these are all 19C, 20C, and 21C, and the first one, the top left 20 20C is from. 30 miles north northeast, what it seems like Texas to 10 miles west northwest of SQS and so on. Not many convective segments throughout the US today, just a couple here and there. This is the area forecast for Honolulu or Hawaii in general, and really there doesn't seem to be much except the Emirat Sierra for IFR, IFR clouds and mountain obscurance, but in Hawaii's that's usually normal, especially when you get around the mountains on the Big Island, because there's some volcanic activity as well. So that's it for my weather briefing.